Caillou was playing in the park with Leo. They were having so much fun kicking the ball together. Great shot, Leo! Yay! It suddenly started to rain. But Caillou and Leo loved the rain. They began jumping in the puddles. Mommy, look! <laughs> That's some impressive jumping, kids. Mommy saw how messy Caillou had gotten. But you're covered in mud from all the splashing in the puddles. It's time to go home and take a bath. But I want to play some more. You can play in the bathtub, Caillou. Now say goodbye to Leo. Bye, Leo. See you soon. See you later. Caillou wasn't very happy. He wanted to play soccer with Leo. What's wrong, Caillou? I don't want to take a bath. But you've been playing in the mud. It's important to stay clean. But baths are no fun. They're so boring. Well, this one won't be boring. I'll be sure to add lots of bubbles to your bath. And you can play with Ducky, too. Caillou started to feel better. Maybe taking a bath wouldn't be so boring after all. Mommy turned the water on in the tub. She put in some bubble bath. It smelled sweet, like apples. Look at all those bubbles, Mommy! <laughs> Are you ready to get into the bath now? Yes! Caillou wanted to play in the bathtub. He grabbed his tugboat and his ducky. When Caillou was in the bath, he loved playing with all the bubbles around him. Caillou was enjoying his bath time. He loved splashing in the water and blowing the bubbles. What are you going to play in the bath? I'm going to play Captain of the Sea. Ducky is the captain and this is his boat. Where is Captain Ducky off to then, Caillou? He's going on an adventure, but some of these bubbles are going to be a bit tricky to get through. <laughs> Caillou piled bubbles on Ducky's head and put it on the tugboat. He leaned back to let the bubbles cover his shoulders. Right, let's get cleaned up now. Mommy carefully cleaned Caillou's face and ears. Caillou thought it tickled. <laughs> Do you want to wash your hands and feet? Mommy gently washed Caillou's feet using his soccer ball sponge. <laughs> Mommy poured water all over Caillou's back. He loved how warm the water felt. When Caillou was all clean, he got out of the tub. Mommy dried him with a big, soft towel. You smell nice and clean now, Caillou. Caillou smiled and hugged Mommy. Mommy helped Caillou put on his pajamas. Time for bed now, Caillou. Mommy, can you read me a bedtime story? Of course I can. Caillou chose his big book about animals. Look, Caillou, a duck. It's just like the one you had with you in the bath. Captain Duck! <laughs> yes, Captain Duck. Caillou couldn't wait to play in the mud again so he could take another lovely warm bath. Caillou and his family were on their way to Uncle Felix's farm. Caillou was very excited. I can't wait to see all the farm animals. Moo! <laughs> Quack! <laughs> Caillou gave Uncle Felix a big hug. He was very happy to see him. Howdy, Caillou. Great to finally have you all down on the farm. You ready to see some animals? I can't wait! There were lots of cute, fluffy sheep in the barn. Do you know what sound a sheep makes, Caillou? Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> That's right! Uncle Felix and Caillou gave the sheep some grain to eat. That 
one so small. Can I touch it? Of course, Caillou, but be careful. It's only a baby. Wow, it's so soft. Next, Caillou saw some cows in the field outside the barn. The cow's nose is wet. Where are all the horses, Uncle Felix? I want to be a cowboy! Uncle Felix walked into the field and whistled. Right away, a horse galloped up to them. This is Harry. Harry the horse! Can I ride him, please? Caillou had never ridden a horse before. He jumped around pretending to be a horse. Yay! <laughs> sure you can, buddy. Perched safely on the horse, Caillou felt like a cowboy as Uncle Felix led him and Harry around the field. Yeehaw! Caillou galloped up to the barn. He was still having fun pretending to be a horse. That was such a fun ride! I really like Harry the horse! Caillou heard a funny noise. He wasn't sure what it was. What was that? A mommy pig! Look at all the babies! The pigs were bathing in the mud. Caillou went in to have a closer look. Baby pigs are called piglets. This is so much fun! As Caillou watched, Uncle Felix drove his red tractor. He was sad that he wasn't allowed to try. Why can't I drive the tractor, Mommy? Only grown-up farmers like Uncle Felix can drive tractors, Caillou. Mommy had an idea to cheer Caillou up. She pulled his favorite red tractor out of her handbag and handed it to him. Here you go, Caillou. It looks just like Uncle Felix's. Wow, your tractor looks just like mine. You'll be a farmer in no time. Yippee! In the barnyard, Caillou saw some chickens. He tried to catch them. Caillou liked watching the chickens. They pecked at the ground with their pointy beaks. One of them swallowed a worm. Yuck! Want to check the hen house, Caillou? Maybe the hen laid some eggs. Ta-da! Wow, Caillou, excellent job. You're a great farmer. Caillou had lots of fun at the farm with Uncle Felix. He couldn't wait to come back and see all his animal friends again. Caillou and his babysitter are reading a story. But today is a very special day. Caillou, did you know it's Valentine's Day today? This is a day to celebrate love. Hmm. Caillou thinks about this for a moment. Celebrate love? That's right, Caillou. Caillou has an idea. Caillou decides to give a Valentine's Day present to someone he loves. I'm going to draw a pretty card with hearts. Aw, that's a nice idea. Julie gives Caillou some paper and crayons. Caillou begins to draw hearts as carefully as he can. But drawing hearts is hard, and Caillou is a bit disappointed with his picture. Oh, it's not very pretty. I can help you if you want. I like your hearts, Caillou. What do you think about adding something else to your picture? Hmm. Caillou wonders what else he could draw. Ooh. I know! Caillou draws a big round moon. And all around the moon, he draws lots of kisses in lots of different colors. Your picture is really pretty, Caillou. Caillou is very pleased with himself. Caillou goes into his bedroom and places the drawing in his room. Ah. 
Who is your Valentine's present for, Caillou? <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> Caillou puts on his favorite shirt. Then he gets a red tie out of Daddy's drawer. Do I look nice with a tie? You always look nice, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou is so excited about his Valentine's Day present that he can hardly sit still. Finally comes home, he rushes to meet her. Mommy is delighted to see her little boy looking so smart. Who's this handsome young man? Close your eyes, Mommy. Mommy shuts her eyes, and Caillou puts the Valentine's Day surprise into her hands. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> is this for me? I drew a moon because I love you as big as the moon. Oh, and I love you as big as the moon, too. Well, I love you as big as the moon and all the stars and all the planets. Caillou is sure no one could love anyone more than that. The market. Good morning, Sleepy. But Caillou does not want to get out of bed. Look, it's snowing. <gasps> Caillou runs to look out the window. Wow! Can we make a snowman? Let's get dressed first, then we'll see. Caillou tries to pour his cereal, but nothing comes out. There's no cereal. We'll get some at the market. We have to shop for things to make a special surprise oh. cake. A cake? Yay! Caillou puts on his coat and boots. He picks up Gilbert to see if he'd like to come to the market as well. Oh, no. Gilbert, where are you going? <laughs> Silly cat. <laughs> Outside, the snowflakes tickle his face. He sticks out his tongue and catches some of them. We make a snowman? Yes, Caillou. But we have to go to the market first. Oh. When they get to the market, Mommy puts Rosie in the seat of the grocery cart. I want to ride in the cart too, Mommy. Let's go. We have lots of shopping to do. Caillou and Rosie help Mommy find the things she needs. Caillou takes a bag of cookies off the shelf. These are good! We're having special surprise cake, so we don't need cookies, too. Aww. Caillou really wants the cookies, but he puts them back. At the checkout counter, Mommy helps Caillou and Rosie get out of the cart. Caillou, please help watch Rosie for me. Caillou holds Rosie's hand. But he's thinking about the cookies. Ooh. 
He lets go of Rosie's hand to go and find the cookies. Caillou goes up and down the aisles looking for the cookies. Suddenly, he stops and looks around. He can't see Mommy. Mommy, where are you? Mommy! <laughs> there she is. Mommy looks worried. What happened, Caillou? No, you went away. She gives him a big hug. I'm very glad we found you. Now let's go home. Mommy, I was lost. I know, Caillou, but you're home now. And it's time to make the special surprise cake. But I want to make a snowman. We will make a snowman here in the kitchen. Mommy bakes a cake and covers it in snowy white icing. Hmm. Caillou and Rosie decorate it with candy. The special surprise cake is a special surprise snowman. Caillou was spending a rainy day at Grandma's. He drove his mini car around the coffee table. Vroom, vroom. Beep, 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 beep. Whoops! Caillou knocked a big book off the table. It fell open on the floor. Caillou was curious about the pictures in the book. He sat down to take a look. I can see you found my photo album. Who's that, Grandma? That's your grandpa and me when we were young. Caillou looked at the photo again. <laughs> That's not you and Grandpa. Oh, this picture was taken a long time ago. Your Grandpa and I used to dance a lot. Caillou turned the page and something fell out of the album. Oh, it's our blue ribbon. The night that picture was taken, there was a big dance contest. And this is the ribbon your Grandpa and I won. Wow, first prize. Do you want me to show you how to dance? Yes, I can win first prize, too. Grandma puts on some music. This was one of our favorite songs. Caillou hadn't heard music like this before, but he liked the quick rhythm. Look, Grandma, I'm dancing. Caillou hopped from one foot to the other. That's good, Caillou. Here, take my hands. Caillou loved dancing with Grandma. He was having a lot of fun. All you have to do is listen to the music. Grandma showed Caillou some complicated steps. Caillou tried to follow and stumbled. <laughs> Watch this, Grandma! Caillou jiggled his hips from side to side. I think you just made up a new dance. And for being such a good dancer, you win first prize. Grandma pinned the blue ribbon onto Caillou's shirt. Hi, you two. It looks like someone's been getting dance lessons. Grandma showed me how. Caillou started to dance for Grandpa. That's great. Grandpa took Caillou by the hands and they started to dance together. Grandma watched as her two men danced around the room. 
Just then, the doorbell rang, and Caillou ran off to answer it. It's Mommy! Look, I got first prize for dancing. He then showed everyone a little dance he had learned. Everyone gathered in the living room for a snack. Mommy, did you know that Grandma and Grandpa used to dance a lot? And they won a ribbon for first prize for dancing. Really? Yes, and Grandma and Grandpa are really good dancers. Grandma showed me their special dance. Grandpa had an idea, and he put the music on again. <laughs> may I have this dance, miss? You may, sir. Together, they showed everyone the dance that had won them first prize all those years ago. Caillou's family was on their way to buy groceries, but Daddy drove right past the grocery store. Caillou was confused. Daddy, you missed the store! We're not going to the store today, Caillou. We're going to go somewhere called a farmer's market. What's a farmer's market, Daddy? It's a place where farmers bring all the things that they grow. Can we buy food there? Yes, lots and lots of food, Caillou. When they arrived, Caillou saw the farmer's market was very different from the grocery store. All of the food was placed on tables with a farmer behind each stall. Where did all this food come from, Daddy? The farmers grow the food at their farms and bring them straight here. It's very fresh. Caillou looked for bananas, but he couldn't see them anywhere. Mommy, where are the bananas? Well, Caillou, all of this food is grown nearby, but bananas only come from very far away. Bananas don't grow here? No, the bananas come from so far away that they need a plane to get all the way to the grocery store. Caillou liked thinking about bananas flying in a plane. <laughs> then, Caillou remembered something. Strawberries can grow close to here. I've seen Grandma grow them in her garden. That's right, Caillou. But I don't see any strawberries. That's because it's spring. You can't eat strawberries until they're ripe, and they won't be ready until the summertime. There were more than just fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. They walked past a cheese stand with lots of smelly cheeses. Caillou tried some that was made from goat's milk instead of cow's milk. He thought it tasted funny. Ugh. If there's goat's milk, that must mean there's goats nearby, too! I think there's one right over there, Caillou. Caillou had never been this close to a goat before. The farmer even let him feed the goat straight from his hand. <gasps> Is that lady a farmer too? Her hat looks silly. She's a different kind of farmer. She raises bees and sells their honey. That hat stops her from getting stung by the bees. Caillou tried some of the honey on a stick. It was delicious. The farmer was so nice, she let Caillou try on her hat. How do I look, Rosie? <laughs> Funny! At another table, Caillou saw some long, skinny vegetables. Mommy, what are those? Those are asparagus. It's a vegetable. Asparagus. <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> Caillou liked the word so much, he said it over and over. Asparagus! Why don't we buy some? I have a wonderful recipe for asparagus soup. But I need one more vegetable, Caillou. Can you help me? What about those carrots? Ew! They're all covered in mud! That's because they have been pulled straight from the ground this morning, Caillou. Fresh from the farm. At home, Caillou washed the vegetables while Mommy cut them up. Then, 
they put all the ingredients they had bought in the blender. Would you like to push the button, Caillou? Yes, please! <laughs> At supper time, everyone had a bowl of the soup. Caillou had a taste, but he wasn't sure if he liked it. What do you think, Caillou? It's not as good as spaghetti, but it really was fun choosing all the vegetables. Well, you're going to have to finish your dinner if you want some dessert. Mommy brought out bowls of ice cream drizzled with the honey from the market. Caillou thought it was the best thing he'd ever tasted. Can we go back to the farmer's market again soon? Yes, Caillou. The next one is in the summer, so we can see what's in season then. Maybe they will have some strawberries! Caillou and Leo were having lots of fun playing in the park together. Leo brought along his favorite green truck to show Caillou. Wow, Leo! Your truck is so cool! I'll bring my red one tomorrow and we can race! Okay, but mine will be the fastest. We'll see about that. Time to go now, Caillou. But I don't want to go yet. We're playing with Leo's truck. We'll be back tomorrow. You can finish your game then. Fine. See you tomorrow, Leo. Bye, Caillou. The next day, Caillou was very excited to play trucks with Leo at the park. He jumped out of bed and got ready as fast as he could. <gasps> Mommy! Caillou was covered in tiny red spots. He didn't know what they were, but they were very itchy. Mommy! Oh dear, it looks like you have chicken pox. Chicken pox? They're just little itchy spots, nothing to worry about. But you must remember not to scratch them or they'll get worse. I'll run you a nice bath and then you won't feel so itchy. While Mommy ran the bath, Caillou stood looking at himself in the mirror. He tried to count how many tiny red spots he had. Your bath is ready, Caillou. Caillou knew he shouldn't scratch, but he couldn't help it. Caillou, no scratching! But I'm so itchy, Mommy! If you don't scratch and you take lots of baths, your spots will disappear faster. Caillou didn't feel as itchy in the bath, and playing with Ducky helped him forget all about it. Quack! <laughs> Quack! How are you doing in there, Caillou? I think I'm ready to get out and go play with Leo now. I'm not itchy anymore. I'm sorry, you can't go out and play today, Caillou. You are sick. You need to stay home and rest. Caillou was very sad he wouldn't be able to go play trucks with Leo. After all, he didn't feel itchy anymore. You can't see Leo until your spots have cleared up. Otherwise, you'll make Leo sick too. Caillou didn't want to make Leo sick, so he listened to Mommy and went back to bed. Caillou was getting bored of waiting for his spots to go away. He found it very hard not to scratch. They were just so itchy. Caillou, are you scratching? I can't help it, Mommy. They're so itchy. I have some special cream that might help. Mommy, that tickles! <laughs> Once Mommy was done, she pulled out a sheet of stickers. What are those stickers for? It's a surprise. Mommy put the red dots on Caillou's dinosaur. My dinosaur has chicken pox too! Soon me and Dinosaur are going to feel much better. Then I can go play with Leo. The next morning, Caillou looked at himself in the mirror. His spots were finally <gasps> fading. Mommy, come see! That's great, Caillou. You're almost all better. Caillou showed Mommy that his dinosaur had fewer spots, too. Can me and Dinosaur go play outside now? I want to show Leo my truck. Not yet, Caillou. 
You'll have to wait until the chicken pox are completely gone. Aww. The next day, all Caillou's spots had disappeared. <gasps> he picked up his dinosaur and his truck and ran to tell everyone the good news. Mommy! Daddy! Look! Ta-da! I see you and your dinosaur spots are all gone. Yep. Can I go out and play now? Yes, Caillou. You can go after breakfast. Can you go wake Rosie for me? <gasps> Rosie, guess what? My spots have all gone, so we're going to the... <gasps> now poor Rosie's face was covered in spots. Chicken spots. Mommy, come quick! Caillou knew just what had happened to Rosie. <gasps> Look, Mommy, now Rosie has chicken pox. Don't worry, Rosie. I'll look after you. Don't you want to go to the park to play trucks with Leo? Not today. Dr. Caillou needs to look after Rosie. Here, if you take lots of baths and don't scratch, you lose all of your spots, just like me and my dinosaur. Rosie knew she'd feel better in no time with Dr. Caillou looking after her. Every morning, Caillou watched for the big yellow school bus that drove down his street. He always saw lots of children waiting for it. Caillou's friend Sarah hopped onto the bus and took a seat. She saw Caillou sitting by the window. What's wrong, Caillou? I really, really, really want to go on the big yellow school bus. When can I go on the bus like all the other big kids? Not long. Only one more birthday and you'll be old enough. That's such a long time. I want to go on the bus now. Here's an idea. Why don't we go and talk to the bus driver tomorrow morning? If you ask nicely, the driver might let you ride the bus. Caillou was still a little sad but at least he'd get to see the bus up close. The next morning, Caillou and Daddy were waiting for the school bus. Here it comes! The bus driver pulled up and opened the door. Good morning, young man. What's your name? Caillou stood behind Daddy. He was a bit shy. This is Caillou. He'll be going to school next year. Really? That means you'll be joining my bus. What is your name? Well, they call me Mr. Billy, the bus driver. I really, really, really want to go on the bus. I can't take you on the bus ride today because the bus is full. But you and your daddy can join me tomorrow. How does that sound? Yay! I can't wait! The next morning, Caillou was so excited about the bus ride. He couldn't stop thinking about it. I heard someone is going on a bus ride today. I'm so excited, Mommy! Bus! Beep! Beep! I want to make something special for Mr. Billy, the bus driver, to thank him. Maybe you should draw him something. Caillou thought that was a great idea. He picked up his colored pencils and a piece of paper. It's me driving the school bus. What a wonderful drawing, Caillou. When breakfast was done, Caillou and Daddy met Sarah at the bus stop. Are you going on the school bus, Caillou? Caillou nodded proudly. He felt like a big boy. The bus pulled up in front of them and Mr. Billy opened the door. Jump on, Caillou. We can't be late for our route. Caillou climbed onto the bus with his daddy. Caillou and Daddy sat right behind Mr. Billy on the bus. Caillou felt like the bus driver, too. Caillou waved at each boy and girl that came onto the bus. Riding the big yellow school bus was lots of fun. Stop, start, stop, start. The bus picked up more and more children. Mr. Billy drove them all to the school. 
At the school, the children got off, all except Caillou. Mr. Billy, I drew you something. Wow, what a great drawing. Is that you driving the bus? Caillou nodded. He was very proud of his drawing. Wonderful. I'm going to put it up right here for everyone to see. Time to head home. Caillou didn't want his ride on the school bus to end. He was having so much fun. But when he saw Mommy and Rosie waiting for him, Caillou was glad to be home. Did you see me, Mommy? I sure did. Did you remember to thank Mr. Billy? Thank you, Mr. Billy. I had so much fun today. Me too, Caillou. Thanks for joining me today. I have something special to give you as well. Mr. Billy handed Caillou a little yellow school bus toy. Now you have your own little yellow bus that you can drive any day you want. Whoa! I love it! Thank you, Mr. Billy. Caillou waved to the bus as it pulled away. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Billy. See you soon. Caillou couldn't wait to be older so he could get on the school bus every day. Teddy! Caillou has made up a new game. He's rolling his toy cars down a ramp made out of a long board. <laughs> Rosie walks into the room pulling her toy ducky on a string. turns to his little sister and sees that she is wearing a t-shirt with teddy bears on it. No! That's my t-shirt! Take it off! It's mine! <laughs> Caillou is very upset. <laughs> Mommy comes when she hears the shouting. She tries to explain why Rosie is wearing Caillou's favorite t-shirt. Caillou, that t-shirt is too small for you, so I gave it to Rosie. Caillou is so angry, he is not listening to Mommy. It's not Rosie's, it's mine! Okay, okay. Rosie, let's go put on a different t-shirt. Caillou puts on his teddy bear t-shirt, but it's not easy. He has to wriggle and squirm like a caterpillar. Uh, ow! <laughs> too small. Caillou marches around the room with his bare tummy showing. Rosie thinks <laughs> Caillou looks very funny. Maybe he's playing a new game. She runs up to her brother and tickles his tummy. <laughs> Stop that! Caillou knows that the t-shirt used to cover his tummy when he wore it. Caillou stretches out to play with his cars, but his back gets cold and the carpet makes him feel itchy. Caillou goes to his room. He doesn't want to play with the cars anymore. He is too sad to do anything but sit with Teddy. Why did the t-shirt have to get too small? Mommy comes in and sits down beside Caillou. She has a photo album that she opens. Here's a picture of you on your birthday. You look so cute and happy in your teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou looks at the picture and nods. That's when I was little. I had my teddy shirt. Mommy understands why Caillou feels sad. Caillou, I'm sorry I gave your t-shirt to Rosie. I forgot how much you loved it, but now it's yours again. Even if you don't wear it, you can keep it as long as you want. Caillou still loves the t-shirt. It's so soft and cozy. But he knows he has grown too big to wear it. Caillou looks down at Teddy. Suddenly, he knows what to do. 
I'm going to give it to Teddy. Good idea, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou and Mommy both smile as Caillou takes off his favorite t-shirt and puts it on his teddy bear. Rosie comes into Caillou's room to find Mommy. Look who's wearing the t-shirt. <laughs> Teddy's happy! Me too! Caillou hugs his teddy bear in his teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou was playing with Gilbert. His dinosaur was tied to a long string. Gilbert was ready to pounce, tail twitching. Ready, Gilbert? Caillou tugged hard on the string. The dinosaur went flying through the air. Gilbert jumped up and pounced on the dinosaur, catching it proudly. Yay, Gilbert! You saved me from the dinosaur! Caillou continued to pull the string around the room. Oh no! He's still chasing me! Get him, Gilbert! Get him! <laughs> Gilbert chased him and finally pounced on the dinosaur again. You got him this time, Gilbert! Snack time, Caillou. You stay here, Gilbert. Caillou went off to have his milk and cookies that Daddy had prepared for him. Come on, Gilbert. Let's play now. Caillou looked around the room and under the cushions. Gilbert, where are you? Caillou was upset. He had told Gilbert to stay and wait for him. Daddy, Gilbert's gone, and I need him for my dinosaur game. Well, Gilbert is not here in the kitchen. Caillou went hunting for Gilbert. He checked in the basement and found his mommy. Hi, Caillou. What's going on? I can't find Gilbert. He was supposed to wait for me. He's probably hiding in one of the bedrooms. Let's play detectives and look for him. Yeah! Mommy and Caillou headed upstairs. A good detective needs to look for clues. What are clues? A clue is anything that will help us find Gilbert. So keep your eyes wide open. Caillou saw a piece of string on the floor in the hall. It was the string from his dinosaur game. Is this a clue, Mommy? That's a very good clue. The string was between two bedrooms, so Caillou picked one and went in to look for Gilbert. In his parents' room, Caillou looked under the bed, then under the chair, and all around the room. He's not in here, Mommy. That leaves your room, Caillou. My room! Looking around his room, Caillou did not see Gilbert. Gilbert, come here! Caillou looked under the bed and found his dinosaur. Another clue, Mommy! You are a good detective, Caillou. Caillou squeezed the dinosaur and it made a squeaky roar. Mommy and Caillou heard a quiet meow. Caillou pulled back the covers on his bed. Gilbert, I found him! Caillou pulled the sleepy cat into his arms. Caillou hurries to put on his fancy clothes. Tonight he's going out with Mommy and Daddy like a big boy. Rosie is staying home with a babysitter. The restaurant is full of people.
Caillou holds his daddy's hand and looks around. It's a bit dark in here. Caillou doesn't see any children. He feels so proud to be with grown-ups. Look at the aquarium, Caillou. Caillou runs off to say hello to the multicolored fish. Whoa. Don't run, Caillou. Wait for us, please. Mommy, I can't see anything. Caillou decides to sit on his knees. Caillou, please sit down like a big boy. Just in time, a friendly waiter comes toward the table with a booster seat for Caillou to sit on. What would you like to eat, Caillou? Let me look, Mommy. Caillou wants to act like a grown-up and opens the menu, too. There are no pictures on his menu, and Caillou is very disappointed. Caillou waits patiently while Mommy orders his favorite spaghetti. <laughs> it's taking so long for the food to come. Caillou gets tired of waiting and wants to get up and move around. Where are you going? Caillou doesn't want to sit anymore. Do you want to go to the bathroom? Okay. Caillou finds a new game. He's having fun drying his hands under the automatic dryer. Again! Caillou runs back to the sink to wash his hands again. Okay, but this is the last time. The waiter comes to the table with all the plates balanced in his arms. Caillou is very impressed. Wow! Mommy and Daddy never do that! Caillou takes a bite of his food and makes a face. It doesn't taste like this at home. Caillou, at least eat some of your dinner, please. Yeah! Caillou isn't hungry anymore. He wants to play under the table. Where is my Caillou? Caillou jumps out from under the table. I'm here! Caillou, you're supposed to stay in your seat. I don't want to sit anymore. I want to go home. Just then, the waiter comes to the table with a wonderful dessert. Caillou completely forgets about wanting to go home. Yay! I'm hungry! <laughs> Caillou is happy to be eating at the restaurant with Mommy and Daddy. He really feels like a big boy. It was Halloween, and Caillou was very excited because he loved to dress up. Caillou, can you guess what Halloween costume I've made for you? Hmm, a firefighter? No, guess again. An astronaut? No. Have another guess. Caillou thought very hard. What could Mommy have made him for Halloween? I know! A magical wizard! <laughs> Mommy had made him a wizard costume. She helped him put it on. <laughs> Something is missing. Daddy came in holding a funny pretend beard and a spooky-looking book. Don't forget your hat and spell book. Ah, yes. 
Are you ready to make some magic, Caillou? Almost, Daddy. Abracadabra. Yes, Rosie. I have your clown costume ready here. Rosie saw the clown costume, and suddenly she didn't want to dress up and go out. No! You don't want to go trick-or-treating? No! Caillou is really surprised. He didn't think the clown costume was scary, but Rosie did. Maybe Rosie's scared to go out trick-or-treating. I'll stay home with her while you and Daddy go out. I'll bring back some extra candy for her. Caillou and Daddy left the house. It was dark and spooky outside. There were jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. Daddy, it's a bit scary out here. Don't worry, Caillou. I'm right here. Caillou walked closely next to Daddy. Let's go to Mr. Hinkle's house first. Caillou walked up to Mr. Hinkle's front door, and Daddy waited at the foot of the stairs. Trick or treat! Hello there. It's not every day I get a visit from a magical wizard. What a nice surprise, Caillou. I hope you don't turn me into a frog. Caillou <laughs> was happy Mr. Hinkle recognized him. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. Where's Rosie? Rosie was a bit too scared, so she stayed at home with Mommy. Well, you make sure she gets some of these sweets too, okay? Children in all kinds of costumes ran from house to house. Who was that girl dressed up as a fairy? And who was the Frankenstein monster she was talking to? Look at me, Caillou. I'm a scary <laughs> monster. And I'm a wizard. That monster is Leo. And Clementine's a fairy. Oh, my. You all look great. Look at all my treats. Clementine, Leo, and Caillou all compared their bags of candy. Wow, that's a lot. Caillou, Leo, and Clementine decided to go to the rest of the houses together. Trick or treat! They collected lots of treats, and soon their bags were full of goodies. It's time to go home now. Oh no, not yet! I have an idea. We can do one last trick or treat. Oh! <laughs> Caillou, Clementine, and Leo walked up to the front door of Caillou's house. Trick or treat! Who do we have here? A wizard, a monster, and a fairy. Rosie was still a little frightened. Rosie, it's me! Caillou! Rosie started <laughs> giggling. She wasn't afraid of dressing up anymore. Happy Halloween! <laughs> <laughs> it was summer vacation. Caillou and his family were going to the beach. Caillou couldn't wait to see what the ocean was like. Are we there yet? Almost, Caillou. When you can see the ocean, you know we are nearly there. I want to go swimming and build the biggest sandcastle ever! Don't forget about the ice cream. Ice cream was Caillou's favorite. He couldn't wait to taste all the different flavors. Ooh! Yummy! Yummy! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> there it is! I can see the ocean! When they finally arrived, Caillou jumped straight out of the car. He ran down to the beach. It's hot on my toes! Don't worry, Caillou. It's just the heat from the sun warming up the sand. It won't hurt you. Caillou was surprised that the sand was hot, but he enjoyed wiggling his toes in it. Wow! The ocean! 
The ocean went on forever. It was the biggest thing Caillou had ever seen. Caillou, it's very sunny, and that means we need to put on lots of sunscreen and wear your hat so you don't get burnt. Caillou <laughs> giggled and tried to get away, but Mommy held on tight. She covered him all over with sunscreen. It tickled. Daddy set up the umbrella, and Mommy put Rosie down in the shade. Caillou didn't want to sit around. He wanted to do something fun. Who wants to go swimming? Me! 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 Caillou took Daddy's hand. Together, they ran towards the water. Brr, the water is cold. It's all right once you get used to it. Caillou and Daddy were having lots of fun splashing about in the water. Suddenly, a big wave knocked Daddy down. <laughs> Caillou thought Daddy looked funny covered in seaweed. <laughs> then another big wave came and took Caillou by surprise. He didn't like being under the water. Don't worry, Caillou. Let's be careful to not go too deep and watch for the waves coming together, okay? <laughs> hey, you two. Time for lunch. Daddy and Caillou were now very hungry after dodging the waves. Caillou had a sandwich, an apple, and some lemonade for his lunch. Yummy. Caillou picked up his sandwich and took a big bite, but it was full of sand. Ugh! It's all sandy! I can't eat this! A nearby seagull swooped down and stole the sandy sandwich. Hey, come back! That's mine! Don't worry, Caillou. We can get some ice cream instead. After lunch, Daddy took Caillou to the ice cream shop. There were so many flavors, all different colors. Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. I want to try all of them. <laughs> Why don't you choose one flavor for today and then a different one next time? Okay, but how do I choose when there are so many? The friendly ice cream seller let Caillou try a few flavors to make sure he picked his favorite. Mmm, I like that one. Daddy bought four ice creams and they went back to find Mommy and Rosie. Want to show Rosie how to build a sandcastle, Caillou? Caillou was very excited and grabbed a bucket and spade. Look, Rosie, you take the bucket and go like this. Rosie giggled and clapped her hands. Sandcastles were the most fun of all. Wow, that looks great. But no castle is complete without a flag. Suddenly, Caillou felt water splashing against his feet. The ocean had moved closer, and the castle was washing away. Oh no! The waves are ruining my sand castle! How did they get here? Because the tide makes the ocean go higher and lower, so the waves come further up the beach. The tide is coming in now, so that means it's time for us to go home, Caillou. But what about my sand castle? Don't worry. We can come back another day, so you and Rosie can build an even bigger one. Mommy and Daddy gathered up all their things and headed for the car. I want to come back tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. This is the best vacation ever! Caillou and his family had a great day at the beach, but he really couldn't wait for his next adventure. Caillou had to get up early today to go somewhere very special. Wake up, Caillou. It's time to go on an amazing adventure. What kind of adventure, Daddy? It's a surprise. 
What kind of surprise? I can't give away the surprise, Caillou, but it's going to be splashing. Splashing? Caillou heard Grandpa arriving downstairs and couldn't wait to give him a big hug. Grandpa, why are you wearing that funny hat? It's my very special lucky hat, Caillou. Whenever I wear it, it brings me good luck. What makes it lucky? Ah, oh, you'll have to wait and see, Caillou. Caillou had no idea what Grandpa's silly hat was for, but he couldn't wait to find out. Are those fish? Wow! We're going fishing! And you can't go fishing without your very own lucky hat. Caillou was so excited, he felt like a real fisherman. I'm ready. Let's go. Well, hold on now. First, we'll need to buy some food for the fish. Caillou and Grandpa went into a store by the lake called a bait store. It was full of worms and insects. You can buy bugs, Grandpa? Fish love to eat bugs. They go on the fishing line and the fish will swim right over to us. Daddy came back with a bucket full of wiggly worms. Caillou was very surprised. Ew! Worms? Fish love to eat earthworms. It's like peanut butter and jelly to them. <laughs> the fishermen waited patiently to catch some fish. But Caillou had a hard time staying awake. It was still very early in the morning. When are the fish going to come and eat? Aren't they hungry? Shh, we have to be very quiet. If we make any noise, we'll scare the fish away. Caillou tried his best to be quiet. He heard water flowing and the whir of a fishing reel from the fisherman next to them. Look over there, that man caught a fish. Why did he throw the fish back in the water, Daddy? That fish was too small. It wasn't ready to be caught yet. He threw it back so it can grow bigger first. Caillou was getting tired of waiting and having to stay still. Why haven't we caught anything yet, Daddy? Where are all the fish? When you go fishing, you have to be very patient, like Grandpa. He has a lot of experience. Caillou and Daddy looked at Grandpa. He had fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we take a break, too? Daddy and Caillou went to see the fishing boats. The fishermen were unloading big crates of fish. What are the fishermen going to do with all those fish? They'll sell them to the grocery store, then people buy them to eat. Caillou really wanted to take a fish home. If we catch a fish, we could have it for dinner. Can we try again? Sure we can, Caillou. Caillou was very determined to catch a fish now. He stayed as still as he could and waited very patiently. You're doing a great job, Caillou. Shh, Daddy. You'll scare the fish away. Suddenly, Caillou felt a tug on his fishing line. Daddy, uh, I got one. <laughs> Quick, reel it in, reel it in. Caillou reeled in his line. There was a little fish wriggling on the hook, but it fell back into the water. Oh no, but I waited and waited. Don't worry, Caillou. You'll have better luck next time. You just have to keep practicing. Caillou was happy that he had gone fishing, even if he hadn't caught anything to bring home. All this fresh air has made me hungry. But we still didn't catch anything. Grandpa had an idea. I know where there are always lots of fish. There's my little fisherman. Wow, that's such a big fish, Caillou. Well done. Where did you catch it? Caillou <laughs> couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> we caught it at the fish store. <laughs> 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 T 
today, Caillou is going to the dentist for the first time. Let's hurry, Caillou. We don't want to be late. Caillou doesn't answer. Where has he gone? Mommy finds Caillou in the bathroom. Caillou, you've already brushed your teeth this morning. Do they look nice, Mommy? <laughs> yes, Caillou. They're beautiful. Now come on. Time to go. At the dentist's office, Caillou and Mommy sit in the waiting room. Caillou holds Teddy very tight. Just then, he hears a strange whirring noise. Teddy, you're coming with me to see the dentist, okay? A woman with a friendly smile walks toward Caillou. Hello, Caillou. My name is Linda. Come with me, and I'll show you and your teddy the best way to brush your teeth. Caillou and Mommy follow Linda into a small room. There's a big chair in the middle with a big funny-looking lamp hanging over it. Have a seat, Caillou. Can Teddy sit too? <laughs> of course. Caillou and Teddy sit in the dentist's chair. Linda shows Caillou how the chair can move up and down. <laughs> Linda tilts the back of the chair so that Caillou can lie down. But Caillou stays sitting straight up. Lie back, Caillou. That way, I can get a better look at your teeth. Linda shows Caillou the little mirror that's used to see the teeth in the back of his mouth. She starts the electric toothbrush that turns very fast. That's what was making that strange noise. Now I'm going to make your teeth shine like little stars. Okay. Caillou checks first to see if Mommy is still there. Yes, Mommy is right behind him. Linda brushes Caillou's teeth. Then the dentist comes into the room to give Caillou his checkup. Hi, Caillou. I'm Dr. Joseph. Wow, you have really nice teeth. Do you brush them every day? Two times this morning. <laughs> when Caillou is ready to leave, Linda gives him a new toothbrush to take home. And you can have two surprises from the box. Two? Caillou examines the items in the box. He chooses a magnifying glass and a ring. The magnifying glass is for me, and the ring is for my mommy. Goodbye, Caillou. Bye. It's been a big day for Caillou. Today, he went to the dentist for the first time.